25th Anniversary Auto Show Special starts right now. 25 years of glitz, glamour, and style. A small local event becomes an international sensation and a must-see for journalists around the world. Join us as we celebrate the 25th anniversary of the North American International Auto Show. Welcome to our celebration of a milestone, the 25th anniversary of the North American International Auto Show. Hi, I'm Stephen Clark. And I'm Carolyn Clifford. We're here at the Detroit Historical Museum on the streets of old Detroit at the turn of the 20th century. You know, it was about that time, 1907 in fact, that the Detroit Auto Show started at a Detroit beer garden bounced around town for a while and finally settled at Cobo Hall in 1965. Now, it wasn't a very big show. In fact, it was more like a regional car show, like a lot of shows across the country, and it really didn't create a lot of buzz in the city. Yeah, but that changed in 1989. A small group of Detroit auto dealers had a vision to take a small, sleepy show and make it an international sensation. We had this idea. We knew it was going to work we thought. <laughs> Some manufacturers didn't think that way. And it took a while for them to come around to our way of thinking. We got thrown out of a couple of offices. I'm not going to mention whose, but uh, you know, they said, a horrible idea. Who's going to come to Detroit and see an auto show uh, internationally and, and, uh, and freeze? <laughs> they, it, it wasn't even, they would, they just would not look at it in a, a positive uh, venue. But now, they're all here and they're all players. This is truly an international auto show and the auto dealers ought to be very, very proud of their hard work. Ken Mead was co-chairman of the auto show way back then. He knew if they were going to make the show global, they would need to get foreign manufacturers on board. He approached a Toyota executive about introducing the new Lexus in Detroit. And he says, you're crazy. And I said, no, we're, we're really serious. We're going to be an international auto show. Soon after, Infinity committed to Detroit, and that piqued the interest of the German automakers. That brought in foreign journalists. We got our first taste of how to do that, and the rest is history. Something else happened in those early years. A competition among car makers to grab the attention of the international media with over-the-top introductions. Rod Alberts has been the executive director of the show since 1991. Back in 1991, you'll probably recall that the, the theatrics began then in regard to the, the media and what took place. And, and we do it like no other show in the world, that we don't just do kind of stoic uh, uh, presentations from executives. It's theater. It's theater, all right, complete with special effects. In 1992, Detroit Mayor Coleman Young and Chrysler Vice Chairman Bob Lutz drove a Jeep Grand Cherokee off the Jefferson Assembly Line and right through the plate glass windows of Cobo Hall. It was quite an entrance. And in 2008, the cattle call of introductions included a 2009 Dodge Ram pickup truck that was herded down Washington Avenue on its way to the show floor. This year, more than 6,000 members of the media from 70 countries will be on hand to see an international show that rivals those in Frankfurt, Tokyo, and Paris. They'll also see the $300 million renovation to Kobo Center. When you walk in this building, what you're going to feel is that you don't see elsewhere as you get a spirit and excitement about the industry and the economy and where the world's going with technology. You've got other events around the world that happen, um, the Olympics or the Super Bowl. You're lucky to have it once every 20 years. We get the auto show every year. And it's probably tenfold the size of the economic impact. So, you know what, Super Bowl, I love having it here, but I'll take the auto show any day of the week. This year's show promises to be bigger and better than ever with the introduction of 50 new concept and production vehicles. And boy, we're going to get a chance to get our eyes on them for the very first time. We'll get to touch them, feel them, and check them all out. And we we'll also get to check out the brand new Kobo Riverfront Ballroom and Atrium. It's pretty impressive. Plus, Cheryl Crow is going to be performing at the uh, charity preview event. Oh, yeah. We have come a long, long way. Certainly. Don't go away. When we come back, we're going to show you the trends that will be driving the auto industry into the future. Stay with us.